Okay. This is going to be... Really difficult. Tried streaming this game. Um, and it's a little hard on my computer just because... The graphics resolution is necessarily much lower, lower than the rest of my computer. Of course, I'm not seeing any image at the moment. Stream was working earlier. Not stream. Um, recording was working earlier. I can figure out what happened. I had pulled it up to make sure that I could actually get picture out of it. it seemed fine. The reason it's tough and obnoxious is just because um, with the resolution of the game being much lower than the rest of the computer and the game not being able to be played in a windowed mode, uh, it means that it changes the resolution of my computer. When I play it, and having two monitors. Uh, there we go. Goodness gracious, I don't know why that wasn't working. Okay, now we have picture. Hooray. Um, it just sort of makes everything a little obnoxious, and every time I, I play, I have to go through and move windows around after the fact. Okay. So, I don't know. I think I'm like half-ish way through my playthrough of this game. Uh, not actually finished it in the past. I played good chunks of it, though. Um, so, we're not starting at the beginning, and I didn't stream when I originally started playing. Uh, but, I figure it's fine, especially with the, uh, the new one now on the horizon, even though it is a, a limited time exclusive. Uh, hopefully thereafter I'll be able to pick it up on PC and get some shiny new hotness. Uh play, because the game is old, but it's a fun one. Um, we're playing through the story, the tale of Darth Revan, and currently uh, our protagonist has teamed up with Bastila, and I have brought Mission with me, because I find having a rogue in the party to crack locks uh, is generally very useful. What can I do? Yes. Uh, as we hunt down uh, Darth Malak, uh, Revan's disciple, after he broke with the Jedi Order uh, during and after uh, the war against the Mandalorians, you know, some 4,000 years before the timeline of the movies. Uh, and so, I am on a water planet, the name of which I totally know. But it is escaping me because it's been a couple months since I played the game. A Colto distribution center. Death had been the target of some sort of attack recently. If the Republic was behind this, they will face stiff penalties. Right, so this water planet is, um. aggressively neutral uh, in the war between the Sith and the Republic, um, supported by the Jedi Order. Uh. At this is a time when there are tens of thousands of Jedi and also thousands of Sith around, as opposed to uh, what we uh, in the Star Wars families tend to recognize today, uh, which is a world or galaxy uh, under the rule of two, where there is always just one master and one apprentice and pretty much always just two Sith. Uh, this is before... Darth Bane's uh, creation of the Rule of Two. I'm just trying to figure out. I need to remind myself what I needed to do. <laughs> and that's not it. Go here. Alright, you've run into Lena, an old girlfriend of Mission's brother, Griff. Lena informed Mission that it was Griff's idea to leave her behind on Taurus, and they left. He also mentioned that Griff was on Tatooine, working on the Zerka Corp mines. Understandably, Mission is eager to speak with him. I think we already visited Tatooine. Honey has told you 
for how she idolized Jedi in her youth and dreamed of being a Jedi, it would seem that she has succeeded in her desire, maybe taking... Talking to her later will reveal more, so Johnny should be on the ship right now. Mission for the Republic. You managed to retrieve the encrypted data module from the Sith. Now you need to return it to Roland Wan, so he'll tell you what he may know about the star map on this world. Okay, so that's... And I think Manon is where I am. Yes, Roland Wan, the Republic diplomat of Manon, indicated that he may know something about the ancient ruins, and Manon first requires you to retrieve data module stolen by the Sith, Bring it back to him before he'll tell you anything. Uh, Candorus is the one Mandalorian on my ship. He told you a little bit about himself. He told you the great wars and battles people have fought before. How he had been reduced to serving Davek on a backwater world. He seems to regret mentioning anything. Perhaps you should speak to him later. So a lot of it is like building rapport with your team. And it's a lot of... I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you about stuff. Okay, you've said all you're going to say. Now I have to wait until a later point in the story when I'm allowed to ask more stuff. Tatooine, you've asked to hear the history of the Sand People, and the Chieftain has said that you must first prove your worth as a warrior. Bring him a Dragon Pearl, and he will consider it. I have a Dragon Pearl. Um, I don't want to give it to him because I put it in my lightsaber. <laughs> One of these two lightsabers has a Dragon Pearl in it. Um, I... Uh, played this game a long, long time ago, and I really liked it because it was actually one of my first experiences with the D20 system. Before I had ever played any uh, Dungeons & Dragons or other role-playing games, um, so now it's got a bit of a nostalgia factor to it, because it's definitely built upon uh, 3.5's SRD, uh, as they have um, skills and feats abilities, and when you go into combat and make an attack, it's definitely rolling a d20 uh, to see if you hit. Um, all the yeah. um, pluses uh, and minuses to all of your weapons are definitely based in 3.5. You can see that I have plus 20 on my green lightsaber and plus 22 on my purple lightsaber to hit. Uh, the green lightsaber will deal between 7 and 22 points of damage, while the purple lightsaber will deal between 9 and 23 points of damage. Um... And then you have things like uh, this, which will add, you know, it adds plus four to my awareness skill, plus three to demolitions, plus three to security. Um, it's just, uh, it's an interesting um, and fairly well implemented uh, uh, translation of the 3.5 system uh, into a otherwise real-time video game. Um, you choose what skills get used during combat. You can queue them up to use one at a chain one after another. Um, and it runs basically in turns as, you know, you do the attack, there's a little bit of a waiting period, you do the next attack. Um, kind of feels like, uh, I don't know, FF12, I guess? With the, uh, battle time, where they get rid of the battle time bar, and, uh, you could just have the timer bar fill for when you could do the next ability. I don't know. Makes me think of that. Now I'm sitting here trying to remember where the goddamn Republic person is. What's this? Mercenary Enclave? No. Okay. Auto City Central. A holding cell. High Court. The Mercenary Enclave. Uh. I don't know. I guess I'll go back to City Central, which appears to be this way. <laughs> Try and wow, it's really damn choppy. Uh, I don't know why that is. I think I need to change my bit rate. Oof, it's really bad. It definitely cannot handle the transfer between. The low resolution game into the stream. Strange. I wish the game, the game's so old that you can't even set it into a windowed mode where it would be much easier to capture. Playing full screen, so it's changing my graphics settings. I think that's what's uh, affecting um, the stream. I think here. Might 
able to... It's so weird because it's really smooth and then it just stops. Uh, what can I do? I don't know if I can change that right. God, my bit rate's really high. You would think things would be okay, but I guess I need to bring it down. Um, it's hardly using any power. 60 frames a second, which just does not seem to be able to handle. Uh, see if I can change the bit rate. Gosh, and then every time I click outside the game window, it has to minimize and all of my uh, windows resize because my resolution of the whole computer changes. Like, ugh. One thing I really detest about games that don't have windowed game mode. Mm, let me see here. Uh, I don't know if I can change it as I go, but I'm going to try. As soon as I remember... Ah, here we go. Uh, stream output? Output. Bitrate set to 2000. Oh, no, I cannot change bitrate while I'm going. Oh, boy. Alright, hang on. Let me pause this and uh, check the VOD and see if what I'm seeing on my screen is accurate. Alright, I'll be back. <laughs> 